Welcome, Dr. Vicky Saraswatu, News Portal, BharatDefenseCovers.com. So I have heard that uh, the first uh, DRDO missile was launched from Metcalf House in Delhi towards Yamuna River. Yes, yes. <laughs> How it happened, and can you tell us something? And then later on, I think you shifted to Hyderabad. See, so, when Dr. Kotari yeah. set up uh, the defense laboratories, Defense Science Center was one of the first center which was set up. And in that Defense Science Center, a missile department was set up. Okay. Now, missile department uh, was headed at that point in time by a person called B.N. Chaturvedi. And uh, he decided that we should, uh, and yeah, in 1962, Chinese war yes. and at that time. So we felt that we need anti-tank missile. So that was the first task which was given to this missile group of the Defense Science Center. Now, there was not much of uh, facility here, but open space. Around Matkav, how there used to be a lot of open mm -hmm. space at that time. So these guys, in those days, these scientists, I am just going by what is reported in the recorded information. Mm -hmm. They built a small missile. Now, where to go and launch it? Mm -hmm. So they went out. There was an open area. Mm -hmm. And they erected a small launcher and fired at across. Mm -hmm. It began a lot of news at that time. Ooh. because. Mm, nobody has seen such a fast moving object. It was not a great success or mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. but the fact that the missile flew across uh, the river Yamuna mm -hmm. and many people across uh, watched it, mm -hmm. it made a big sensation. Okay. But then people realized the safety is a yes. major parameter and that's how by the time Dr. Kothari of course handed over to Dr. Bhagwantam mm -hmm. and then they decided that this is an activity which will require large amount of space plus uh, safety is a major consideration because you are going to handle explosives and so on. This can't be done in agglomerate like uh, Delhi. So it was uh, shifted to Hyderabad where Nizam of Hyderabad readily agreed in those days to give uh, one of his old palaces okay. uh, to house the DRDL. That's called DRDL yeah. in those days. And one range was given which is today's RCI which used to be Nizam's uh, hunting ground okay. called Imarat Kancha mm -hmm. for doing this kind of testing which we did. Oh. So later on all the anti-tank missile project programs were experimentally tried in that range. Thank you so yeah. much for talking to us and wish you all the best. Thank for you your so much. Thank you. Ventures. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Nice talking. Sir.